Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy, and this is the Let's Play on the Half Bergman map, episode 16, I think. A Half Bergman Reloaded map, that is. Um, so today we are still continuing with our foraging of the grass we cut on the grass field. That's moving along. I have a few rows left to do, um, and then we're gonna do something else, which I don't really know what to do. But We'll figure it out. We'll start with this one. Um, so, let's see, my chair is awfully high. I think some one of the kids have played around in my office chair. Uh, not, I lowered it slightly, and now it feels weird. So maybe they didn't. Well, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so we m we filled up the compost maker. We filled up, have a bunch of grass stored for the future. And now we're sort of working away on the silage grass. Oh, missed a spot there. Okay, no? Yeah, better. got quite a few loads out of this field, which I think is fairly good. We do tend to get a quite a lot of loads out of this field for some reason. Uh, yeah, that now I remember what to do afterwards. The thing is I haven't played this this ma Hof Bergman map in a few days. I've been playing other maps, and that's the, the reason behind that is that I usually tend to record a few episodes and then I release them over time and then I do other stuff during the off season so to speak the season when I have stuff recorded already um, otherwise I'll tend to be way ahead of myself uh, and I, I usually keep that like a week is always okay a few weeks episodes ahead of myself it's okay but then it tends to uh, generate other sort of problems like if they update the map then I'll have a ton of episodes done on the old version when, when there's a new version out so, um, so I think uh, well, uh, last five days or so, I've been uh, well. I've been back to work also, so that's been uh, steering wheel seems slightly off. Um, we also have un unhook that and see if that works a bit better. Okay, so centering didn't seem centered for some reason the steering wheels are just un, 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 unhooked no that's not the correct word. I just um, released no released is not the correct word either either I just unplugged sorry unplugged is the word I'm looking for unplugged uh, unplugged the USB cable I replugged it didn't no, it still seems I'm gonna, is this is this is straight for me this is straight and then I'm turning to the left. Oh, why does that? Is there a way to center that? It might be in the menu. Or I need to calibrate it maybe in in uh, Windows. Can I do that? I'm just gonna go and see if I can calibrate it in Windows. Y you can't see this because it's now on the recording, but I'm opening the units. Older, I can try. It's it's working away while doing that. So our fields are fertilized to the third level. Everything is good and dandy. To you. for everything to grow, I don't need to do anything else on the fields. Uh, basically, I can do other stuff to make money, i.e. the butter thing and that's all. which we need to do if we want to make gonna exchange this tractor and other track. So I'm gonna try this six series to fertilize the grass fields for uh, actually I'm gonna stop here because we need to check on the pigs. There's something weird going on because it says that the spot is filled but there's no pigs here. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's a problem with the pile of piglets over there. 
or it's some other pro problem. I can't really tell. Um, so after fertilize, we're gonna go and maybe sell some of our compost. I don't know if we have a ton of compost then back, uh, back. So we so can do this from the inside. I'm just gonna go and see if I can fix this. It's the wingman. Yeah. Wingman. And we're gonna try to calibrate it. No, I can't calibrate it. Why can't I do that? No. Oh. Let's see, wingman. And calibrate. Leave centered, okay. So this is centered. Move in circles. I'm oh, sorry, this is boring, I know what this is boring. Should be centered. Eh, it might be centered. No, I don't know. So this should be centered. Eh, it's not centered. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing this. Slightly too. Well, it's not the best steering wheel, I I guess. So there might be something when it because, but slightly to the left. I don't know. We can set that up somewhere else. It's not. I'm. I'm. I should probably invest in a better steering wheel. But then again, that costs a little bit of money, and I rather spend my. Well, I have to spend my money on other stuff. My, my fiance's birthday is coming up and I'm gonna get her some stuff. Tomorrow we me and the kids are gonna go and shop for presents. I know what she wants, but that's too expensive. So we're gonna go with some of the second best stuff she wished for wish wished for. Wished for. That was a hard word. Now it's centered, and now go weir, weir, weirs to the left, which is strange. Where is it? It's over here. Just drive like it's... Oh. Let's just drive. Let's just do this. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna try the six series to fertilize the field, I think, um, because I think that we need to try that out too. If we have that as a demo, we need to try it out, and then we need to get some money, and we'll take out a loan. That's okay. We don't have a loan, so we can't take out a loan. Um, and we'll buy these tractors, but that's a lot of money. But then again, it was, it's we have a good running farm, we could do some investments without it, that being a humongous problem. Um, I shouldn't be in afraid of doing investments. It's we we paid our over loans, we don't have any loans, we have forty six grand in the bank, we we're gonna make a lot of money um, in the future, so no, it's, it's not a problem. We could, I mean, doing this is it's gonna work out pretty nicely. Sweet, God, it's really dirty, and I, I don't know if I care much for the the way this tractor gets dirty. I think that's 
I guess tracks do get dirty, but this is sort of the pixelated dirty. I don't think it's. That, that, I mean, it doesn't look very realistic, but it also doesn't look. No, I guess that's my problem. It doesn't look very realistic. So, oh, well, that's one of the things I don't like about this tractor. Otherwise, I like the model. I like the mod. It's uh, it's pretty good track. I mean, it's a good tractor, good pulling power, good steering. Everything is fairly nice, actually. I shouldn't complain too much. I'm nitpicking. I'm just complaining about stuff that doesn't really matter that much. So I should stop complaining. That <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I should stop complaining. And focus on what's going good. I actually got Photoshop working again, so I'm finally gonna st stop using uh, Game Two version uh, uh, um, software I've been using to get the make the thumbnails. I'm gonna use the thumb do the thumbnails in in Photoshop. Which is better. A big load of grass. I guess there probably are these vehicles in real life, but this humongously big forger, but I don't know many I mean most farms use smaller forge wa wagons and trailers. Uh, this is a really big one for really big operation. I, I always figure how I mean, farmers always complain about not making money, but I mean, c when you look at the equipment they need to do stuff and the cost of the equipment, I never uh, managed to add things up. They should, I mean, I don't want it. One of these tractors costs millions of kroners, uh, hundreds of euros, hundred thousand euros, hundreds of thousands of euros. I mean, this grinder test must be a fortune too. So I mean, big farm operation. And I look, I follow a couple of real farms on on Facebook, and there's one who actually had a like Christmas video where they lined up all the vehicles, and it was like, you know, 50, 20 big tractors, and the cost for each of those tractors is a, a huge amount of money. So I I really can't understand. I ju it doesn't add up, is what I'm saying. If it's such a bad profit margin in farming, and it probably is for for, for smaller farms, but it doesn't seem to be that way when it comes to bigger farms. Uh, but if it isn't, why? I, um, maybe it's the smaller farms that actually keep talking about their financial issues or the problems they have. But um, I actually saw this documentary a few years ago about Swedish dairy farmers, and they followed this farmer who. Well, it turned out there was like one one category of farmers that had a problem actually sustaining, and and they b went bankrupt. A lot of them. And those were that was the farmers that made investment in the operation, so they had modern equipment because they couldn't repay the bank loans basically. Um, but the thing that I I understood, which wasn't very clear from the documentary, but was that the bigger farmers tended to try to outmaneuver the smaller farmers, so the, the big operating dairy farmers, they didn't seem to have the same problems that the small dairy farmers had. Which I guess is quite logical. But is it really fair to you then talk about that? as being a problem if it isn't a problem. Maybe it is a problem, I don't know. I 
that's not working. But and I guess if you're small there from you don't want to go bankrupt. That would be a terrible thing. Oh, I can't take those. What the everything is not working today. Why can't I close the door? <laughs> Oh man, what's going on now? Oh, oh sorry. So I had, I had a HUD hider activated and then you can't close the door for some reason. Weird. Um. I also follow an another channel on YouTube called How Farms Work, uh, which is uh, um, Custer, Co Co Coister, 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 Coister Brothers. I can't pronounce the name. Um, in uh, somewhere in, in America or the states, um, and that's interesting because Ryan, one of the brothers, Ryan, he actually talks a lot about the financial issue parts of the his farm, his farming. That's interesting because it, in a good year they do tend to make a fairly amount of money. Fair amount of money. On a bad year they tend to lose some money. But usually sort of you can't see it as a, a year a yearly operation, you have to look at it as a several yearly several year several years in, in um several years basically. And and that's uh, so interesting. If you go and check out this channel uh, how farms work uh, you can find that on YouTube, and it's a cool, cool channel, and it's good information on how farming, actual farming, works, and the day-to-day -day life and struggles and problems with farming. Where is? Oh, sorry, it should be here. No, where is it? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I can't find the uh, where it was. So our complaints about no more space for piglets, it, it might be that the, I have to move the pile of piglets I have stacked in the in the pigsty. Maybe it would be easier, or relieves it, the problem will disappear. I don't know. Well, anyway, I must stop here. Uh, this is 18 minutes of foraging and rambling mostly, and on next episode we're gonna go and and spread some fertilizer on this field so we get it back up to a good operation operational standard again and get lots of grass off it so we which we can use in the later operation during the year we're only late spring so it's quite early we should get at least a second cut from this field maybe an early fall or something we'll get to that Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share. And I will see you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.